All right, so today I am going to give you an overview of Agency Analytics, which is at agencyanalytics.com. This is an SEO uh, and marketing software. It's a very good tracking software, and it has a lot of different features in it. I'm, this is our homepage here. I'm just going to kind of scroll slowly through this as I... Um, talk a little bit so we're going to go through the dashboard and again keep in mind this is going to be an overview I've gotten a trial version of this and I'm just basically testing it out I thought I'd share it with you because it's always nice to look under the hood I haven't mastered all the things that this software can do but uh, I do uh, I, I do like investigating this kind of stuff and uh, thought I might share it with you so this is how agency analytics looks under the hood I'm gonna switch over to here so here I am in the dashboard of a uh, client that I've set up here. And it's a, I like the way this looks. This is a comfortable, I like the user design here. It's very easy to use. It's a very comfortable feeling uh, dashboard. You can see that this is just the dashboard part here. So it's got all sorts of information. I'm going to quickly run through the menu and show you all the things that this place, that this software can do for you. So again, agency analytics. So over here is your left hand side. This is your navigation area where the menu is. I am at the dashboard, but we're going to go through the SEO. And if I click on this, you'll see that you can track the rankings, the backlinks, your competition. You get a site audit. Everything that you would expect an SEO software to do is here. And I found that um, as I'm comparing different softwares throughout the SEO, SEO world, you know, everyone's rankings are a little different with each one. And this one falls in line with, with some of the average rankings that I'm getting. So again, here is uh, the rankings area. And here on the left-hand side are our keywords. And here's how we rank in Google, the change we've had. Here's Bing, the change we've had. So they're following some rankings throughout. And it's done daily. So this is a nice thing. Not all SEO software does a daily check of your rankings. Um, and you have these little tabs so you can see how you're doing with your rankings. These are kind of overall rankings here. And here's the change in Bing. So, you know, I, like I said, I found this. Uh, it's nice. It's easy to use. It's very clean. You can sort it. So here we are ranked in first three. There's a couple in second. There's a couple in the third spot. And again, fairly accurate. So let's keep on going through this. And just like I said, this is an overview backlinks. So not all SEO software gives backlinks and backlinks are important as anyone who does um, SEO knows. So again here is a dashboard of the backlinks. It tells you who we backlinked with and you can also, there, all these tabs up here will switch your boards around so you can see different, uh, you can see exactly who's backlinking to you. It gives you a trust score over here. Sometimes you get toxic backlinks and you're going to want to get rid of them. Uh, and there's a the citation here. Um, and it, you scroll over it and it kind of tells you what each column is. Okay. Um, the referring domains, where it's coming from. So there's 63 different domains backlinking to this website. That's pretty good. Backlinking is an important ranking factor. All right. Let's keep going through your competition. Always important. Not all SEO software gives competition. So you can't compare yourselves in rankings to others. Now, I will say agency analytics does not do this as well as others. They do give us some good information, right? Trust flow, citations, uh, how many backlinks they have. Loved being able to compare how many backlinks other sites have, how many uh, keywords they have in the top 10 as compared to you. That's good information. But one thing it doesn't do is I can't compare side by side my rankings for keywords compared to my competition's rankings for keywords. I can, and this is what I actually emailed them on this, they did say what you do then is you basically set up a, another account for your competition and you get all their keywords and you can see all their rankings, but it's not side by side, so it makes it just a little more cumbersome to check. Still though, it's 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 not a bad feature, and like I said, I love this dashboard. This is one of the easiest to use SEO softwares that I've seen, and I've seen 10, if not a dozen of them. Site audits, always an important thing to have. That's what I just clicked on. Sorry, I went a little quick there, but under SEO here, it says site audit. And basically, it 
goes through, it scrubs your site, and it finds issues with your site. Now, don't get alarmed when you see things like 105 issues and all these kind of warnings and errors. They look for everything, and some of it you may not be able to change. It just might be built in into the theme you're using or into the platform you're using. Uh, other things, though, are, are really important. So I would always go through these and just check on this. Again, nice, easy, user-friendly. Oh, two broken links. All right, we would have to check those, right? Even tells you where they are. gives you a score and it tracks it too so in the next week or two I can see this and I haven't used this for that long but this little graph here would kind of change and show me uh, my progress as I start fixing some of the audit uh, things that they're suggesting Google Search Console always nice to be able to connect now I did not connect this to my Google Analytics or my Google Search Console so cool thing is in this demo right here I can view sample data so you can get an idea of what this would look like if you connected this with your Search Console so it's showing uh, your your clicks and as hopefully they increase the keywords that are giving you the most most clicks um, your impressions all this is in Google Search Console but again this is a really nice dashboard so you can use this instead here's the top pages again this is sample data I, I am not tesla.com obviously uh, again all pulled from there it tells you what countries people are coming from and the dice devices all the stuff that you can find in search console but again all in one place that's the one cool thing I've really come to understand about agency analytics is that it's not so much a, a place I mean it does give you backlinks and it does give you history um, for your keyword rankings but if you just want a place where you connect everything this is really good software for that because not just search console here's Google my business again demo data all this stuff that would be very useful to know if you want to study how you're doing in certain areas look at all these stats they're pulling in clicks and calls and ratings any reviews you got uh, it's pretty uh, I can't find this stuff in Google business when I go in there somehow these guys have found it and cool always good to know about these reviews reviews are, are pretty important stuff all right let's keep going down so we're only just in the Bing webmaster so if you're in Bing webmaster it's pulling in data from Bing all right let's keep going now analytics part on this analytics this is Google Analytics again demo data I did not pull my clients uh, analytics into here but again it's pulling all that stuff from analytics into this dashboard so you log into agency analytics you can see your search console you can see your Google Ads you can see analytics um, it has everything in there that you would find in analytics, uh, organic search, the keywords they used, pages per session, average time on page. You know, it's all all that. It's good stuff. Paid search, just in case you have Google Ads going on, so you can track your paid search, the keywords that triggered the paid search ad. All right, so that's analytics. Again, there's the audience, analytics, conversions, pages, uh, what pages get the most visits, how long they stay on them, all that great stuff, right? All in one dashboard. We're going to keep moving fast here. I don't want to have a 20-minute video here. You can connect all of your social media. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it. The main ones, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, right? And again, you can't posts from this like if I go to the posts well here first let me just show you yeah it's pulling in the analytics from Facebook let me go over to a post right so here would be the latest post one thing you can't do with this software is I can't post from here I can't schedule from here but I am able to view all that's going on there here I'm gonna get rid of this top bar I should have done that a while ago right and so uh, maybe you have a Twitter account and you want to see that so here's your Twitter your followers uh, the retweets the likes the tweets you've done and you can keep doing that for YouTube Instagram and LinkedIn cool all right let's move on down to ads again tracking your Google Ads this I like because if you have a campaign 
that uh, maybe you have a Google ad, a Facebook ad, you're doing social media for them, you're tracking their keywords, and you're watching their competitors, you can do it all in this dashboard here. You don't have to keep opening all those accounts. So this really is uh, a beautiful software for that. If that's what you need to do, this is beautiful for that. Facebook ads. Again, it's an overview of all your stuff. You really can't post ads from here, but you can certainly analyze which ads are performing better. Is Google doing better than Facebook, and et cetera, et cetera. Cool call tracking. Some of you may have this set up in your AdWords accounts and things like that. And so it gives you overview like this. 30, 300 calls, 210 answered. How many did you miss? Where did these calls come from? When did they call? Who did they call? Call tracking. Um, so here they, it does connect to some services, right? CallRail, MarchX. And here's email. So this is really cool. This will connect with campaign or mail campaign monitor, MailChimp, uh, Constant Contact. And so it gives you an idea of the campaigns and how you're doing with uh, your different lists that you may have. Again, just an overview format. Whoops, if you click on them, you get even more information. This newsletter is doing well, right? How many people opened it? Uh, when did they open them? Where are they opening them from? even pulls in the people on the list. So you can see why the, how this would be really useful. Now reviews, I think this is pretty new. It only pulls in, uh, if you have review software that you're using, like Yex, uh, Yex BirdEye, BirdEye is a very popular one, expensive but very good. Uh, you can pull in your data and stats from BirdEye. Now a cool thing about this is you can um, have reports. This is a white label uh, opportunity here so what you can do with agency analytics is you can white label this to your agency and then create reports with that and create users who can use it so your clients could log in and see this as well so your clients could have an account and it would be branded with your with your brand with your logo and stuff like that so here's the user area where you can create and add users. And one more thing that's neat about this is it actually has a task area. So let's say you have users and they are people in your agency. You can actually assign tasks to people in this area. There's none here, but you can add a task over here. Give it a task name, you add the task, and then you can assign it to someone. And as they go into different accounts, your different clients' accounts, their tasks can be there for them set up by, by you or whoever may be setting up those tasks. So like I said, this is a this is a really robust piece of software. What I really like about it is that I love this UX. This is one of the easiest ones to use of all the ones that I've seen. Uh, so I really highly recommend it for that. Now, if you are someone who's really like into the nitty gritty of SEO, you really want to get the, the rankings and the keyword finder and you want to analyze stuff like that, this might not be the software for you. Uh, but if you are an agency that's tracking all this stuff and the MailChimp account and the Facebook and you want to see what the analytics is doing, this is an all-in-one place where you can see that. This is a... I really like this. I like this. I would use this. Um, yeah, I, I'm considering using this for my clients. I do use other software now, uh, but I'm really glad I signed up for this trial. Well, good. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this video, folks. I That is all I need to say about this software. It's a, You can get a free trial at agencyanalytics.com. I highly recommend it. It's fun to play around with. You can actually enter your own data during the trial and kind of see how it works with your own with your own information. Hey, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, folks. There are more videos like this coming down the chute, uh, and so don't miss those because there's more overviews of SEO software coming your way. Thanks for watching.